Hello, Gene Schwimmer here. Welcome to today's vlog. Today we'll just have one subject. It's one I can speak about now from personal experience. I've been talking in the past about YouTube censorship of conservative viewpoints. Specifically, you cannot say regarding the election, the November 3rd presidential election, you cannot say anything about it except that it was fair and that there was no fraud. And well, I guess I'll throw in, as I often do facetiously in the past, but maybe seriously now going forward, you'll see why in a second. But I have to say, I suppose that Joe Biden is a wonderful president. I'm sorry he's not king. He, he's just so wonderful. And he's signing so many executive orders. He's actually acting like a king. And he's a wonderful president, fairly elected. And I guess I should also give my usual or my often full disclosure. I'm a conservative. So consider whatever I say from this that is from the standpoint of a conservative. But I have been talking about how you cannot contradict anybody who says that the election was fair, that there was no fraud in the election. Well, I posted a video some time ago where I did not say one way or the other, I merely presented I presented video from an actual hearing before the, the testimony, testimony given before the Georgia Senate Judiciary Committee. This is actual, not my opinion about it one way or the other, it's the actual testimony of witnesses and experts or witnesses, some of whom were experts, but all of whom had submitted sworn affidavits under penalty of perjury. All I really did was show those videos. Well, that video, the, the vlog, the vlog was taken down. I got a, an email from YouTube today that the video was taken down because it violated their terms of service or whatever. There's a, an appeal process you could reply to that email, which I did, and I pasted it in. Well, I, I just told them that everything that I put in that video was just, it was sworn, well, it was testimony before a duly elected Georgia Senate Judiciary Committee conducting legitimate lawful business, and it was testimony from witnesses who had submitted affidavits that were sworn to under penalty of perjury that was taken down. Well, I guess I can't say too much or I'm going to be taken down again. This video, you won't see this one either. I'll let you know. Just if you're listening from YouTube, I am not expressing, I am not disputing the election. Biden is a wonderful president. The election was fair. I am just talking about you're taking my video down from showing video of testimony. What are you afraid of, YouTube? What are you afraid of? And what are Democrats afraid of? Obviously, they are afraid of a lot, and I'm going to get in, into this more in a later video. What I want to say today, hopefully it won't be taken down, is remember our Democratic friends who uh, obviously, well, our friends who want to silence us, but our Democratic friends in the health care debate before they rammed Obamacare down our throats, they were talking about, well, they still want it. They, they talk, Well, they want a socialized medical system is what they ultimately want. But as a step towards getting there, they have talked about a public option for health care. In other words, if you can't get private health care or you don't like your private health care, that there would be a public option provided by the United States government. So I think that's partly a good idea. It's a bad idea for health care, but I think it would be a wonderful idea for the Internet. If you're going to be silenced by YouTube, if you're going to be kicked off of Facebook and kicked off of Twitter, the government should provide those services. There should be a social media website. There should be a internet service where somebody like Parler, who has been, and it's amazing to me that the, so far, apparently they cannot find anybody, never mind the United States, no one in the world, no web service in the world where the 
a, a free speech website can go on the internet. It's really, that's disgusting too. That's a, well, it is part of this subject that the U.S. government should provide it. And I will go farther. I would say they should provide it for free. That's, uh, well, it's not to, well, that's what the public option was supposed to be, uh, to provide health care, if not free, that, well, subsidized or at a very low cost, that would, well, a public option for health insurance, it would put the health insurance companies out of business. A free internet would or could potentially put these internet service companies companies out of business too, or at least that part of their business. For instance, Amazon Web Services, obviously Amazon does other things, but the solution would be for YouTube not to censor anybody or not to censor conservatives, people merely expressing a point of view, not to censor them. And for web services such as Amazon Web Services, not to kick people off their their service, such as they did to Parler. If they don't want them on their service, then there is a place that they can go, those people kicked off, and people like me could go for free, all right? But I would put a stipulation in here, this is where it stays fair, that they would only, these people would get this free service only if they were refused service by Amazon Web Services and Facebook and YouTube and so on and so forth. As long as, only if they are not allowed on the services would there be a, a free alternative. So the, um, nobody could just go, in other words, it wouldn't be like a public option for health care that our Democratic friends have been talking about where they would compete. It's, it's not uh, an intention to compete. It's uh, just to give them somewhere to go so they have somewhere to go because of the First Amendment. People, they have to have a, a way of speaking. People like me have to have a way to say whatever we want and reach an audience. I would also add a, a GoFundMe alternative because GoFundMe is now refusing to um, let people, let certain people, let conservatives fundraise on their, their platform. So there has to be an alternative, but I would add, it would have to be in the law a stipulation that the staff running this free service, their only function, there would only be people to run the service. There would not be censors like there are on, I mean, if a private censor is bad, then a government censor obviously would be worse. So there would be no provision for censoring speech, except for uh, unlawful speech. Certain things that would be unlawful for the for these uh, internet companies. Certain speech you can keep off, like child pornography. You can keep po child pornography off. That would be true also for the government uh, website. But other than that, they would have to be uh, allowed on. And you know what I would do? I would go even farther now that I think of it, because why should the taxpayer pay for that? So I would put a tax on... Amazon and YouTube and any company that does not allow somebody on their platform, they would have to pay a tax or a fee that would pay at least partially, but ideally completely pay for this free service. So not only would they be unable to stop people like me from speaking, but they would have to pay for me to speak freely and for parlor they would have to pay for parlors web service if they are not willing to sell their services and make money from parlor then they would have to pay for parlor to go somewhere else 
I think that would be wonderful and more than that I think it would be fair I think it would be just and I would also think that it would be fair and just for you to give me a thumbs up if you like this video share it with anybody you think would also like it got any comments comment section below the video where you can put questions suggestions for future topics you can visit my music channel under the name Gene Allen there's a link in the description where I put my original music and you can entertain yourself you could actually buy you could stream if you're already paying a subscription you're already paying this monthly subscription so it doesn't cost you anything more to stream my music and make me a, a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a penny at least on, on Spotify or you could download the thing darn thing and pay it I think it's like 99 cents for a song so what else is there to say except that I appreciate the time that you oh did I say subscribe yeah I think I did you could subscribe I appreciate the time that you spend with me I would love to see all of you again so I look forward to seeing all of you again and until I do see you all again bye